Behold, the Zamboni. But where did it come from? Meet Frank Zamboni, born in Utah in 1901. Frank always had an entrepreneurial streak. When he was 19, his parents gave up their farm and relocated to California, where Frank got a job at his brother's garage. Working as a mechanic and a blacksmith, Frank saved enough money to attend the Corn Trade School in Chicago, Illinois. By 1922, Frank had already returned to California to set up a business with his brothers. The Zamboni brothers specialized in electrical work, but they also branched out into ice making. Things went well until 1939 when the brothers realized that new refrigeration units would render their ice block business obsolete. Instead of giving up completely, they decided to build an ice rink. The rink was very popular, but ice rinks at the time had one huge drawback. It took forever to resurface the ice. A crew of men needed more than one hour to resurface the rink, and they had to do this multiple times a night. Frank realized there had to be a better way. Nine years after they opened the ice rink, he found his hidden genius. Today, we call these vehicles ice resurfacers. Here's how it works. It cuts the ice with a blade and scoops up the shavings into a tank. A water tank sprays a thin mist of water onto the ice, and a towel or chamois runs over the ice, smoothing it out. Frank Zamboni's company is still the world's premier manufacturer of ice resurfacing machines. The name is so common that most ice resurfacers today are just called Zambonis.